Hey, what is going on, good people? My name is Jane 3 and welcome back to another YouTube video where today we're taking a look at another Nerf gun. And uh, yes, we're taking a look at a Nerf Nerf Elite. I don't think this is the XD one, but uh, Nerf Elite. The uh, Retaliator, yes, that's it's Retaliator, but well, but where I'm seeing it, it's it's backwards. But uh, yeah. Now, uh, obviously. Um, when, when you get this gun out of the package, or when you get this in retail, or if you get it shipped to you, uh, it, it doesn't actually come assembled because that's going to be way too big package. Now, taking this out, and uh, yeah, this is basically what the gun looks like. Obviously, you have the magazine well loaded in, already preloaded. Yeah, you just fire it off if you cock it, but yeah, to, to actually load it, obviously, yeah, I'm going to do that and pull that trigger here. Which is, which is actually what I find cool. Uh, this, uh, this really kind of looks like a, maybe a, a Colt Magnum with the with a mag light. Obviously, with with this retaliator, it comes with a 12 round uh, magazine clip. I call it magazine, but magazine clip, but uh, it's magazine. And uh, yeah, uh, now now when you do load these darts. Uh, you, you you have to be sure you actually load them in properly, or otherwise the gun actually won't, the blaster won't actually fire. So yeah, I'm gonna see if it says the direction that darts are supposed to be going. Now, now when you actually feed them, you gotta make sure it's oriented the same way because if you put it in like this, it won't fit if you load in the, the blaster this way. Now, yeah, you, you have to pull this, you have to pull the slide back in order to load it. It won't actually fit in because. It, because there is inside the grooves inside line up with the grooves here, so it only hold on like this, and that's a pretty secure. Like you can't jiggle it, but you just pull this back, it should fall out. No, but uh, yeah, you go back, but yeah. But if you jam it in, it, it won't come out until it's actually because it's already in the prime position. But uh, yeah. You have that, but obviously, if you really don't don't want to have the, a really large, like a really large, a clip. Oh, you can't cock it back again. But if you really don't want that, you, you just you can just take this out, kind of toss it on your side. I think I broke something, but yeah. You, what do you, you you can put a six one, six drum magazine, which is what I talked about in in the rather into this video. But yeah, I want to. You, you can kind of. And it kind of has a low profile, but again, it's only six rounds. Yeah, you can only reload them twice for every one clip of the, the tone magazine. No kidding, if you do the math. But yeah, yeah, it fits all all Nerf mag or all Nerf mags fit or have a crossplay. Same thing with the Nerf modulus line. All the darts are able to be fired by uh, everything from the Nerf line. So yeah, adrenaline. Yeah. You, you, you really don't have to, but yeah, but yeah. But once you but once you load this, uh, well, it it comes with twelve Nerf Elite darts. So once you load it, yeah, you can just put it in and you can close it. Now, before I fire it, now show you this, this attachment. Well, the attachments that come with this again is crossplay. Now, if you have a Nerf, if you have the modulus line, these also do fit because obviously. Uh, it's the same stand, the same standard uh, muzzle for the muzzle and the same stock port for for all of the, these uh, Nerf Nerf blasters. But uh, yeah, just put on the thing. Obviously, this is the Retaliator stock, which we put against shoulder for kind of like stability. But uh, yeah, come on, yeah, at that. But uh, yeah, you really can't. It really kind of looks off when you. How much like you find an ump five? But uh, yeah, obviously. Obviously, a barrel does. Well, obviously, I'm just making a fool of myself in this video, but uh, yeah, it, it comes with the stability grip. Now, I don't actually use this for my uh, my blaster, and I'll talk about why, what I, what I would actually put on this blaster. But uh, yeah, obviously, you have obviously you have this barrel, which I, it really looks similar similar to a machine gun barrel because. This feels like a coolant barrel, it kind of keeps the gun from overheating. But yeah, this really doesn't do anything. But I don't know if you guys can actually see into the barrel. Yeah, but yeah, you can see there are grooves in. Apparently, the grooves are supposed to help make the 
the dark go further, but yeah, it only works on bullets, like the grooves, one of the grooves on the farther it goes, but I don't know if that's actually true, I'm not really a firearms expert, but yeah, with the barrel, you see, you have two tactical reels on here and on here, I also got to mention, there's a tactical reel, reel on the top of this, which is what, what I'll show you for some special attachments, but yeah, when it's on, it, it, you have to put the right size, so yeah, put it on, 45 degree angle, turn it, and you basically have the gun fully sold. Now if you do want to put the foregrip on, or, oops, yeah, you don't want to jam that forward, put the spill on, on you, have, you have the option to do that. And, now since I've already cocked the gun, I had a dart in, now if you do want to fire it, you fire it, yeah, it, it, go, it goes pretty far. So, uh, yeah. Now for some particular, some kind of gripes about this. Now, obviously, I forgot to also mention that the package does not, or the instructions also doesn't mention it, that this right here, it, you can actually put a dart in, but if you put it all the way too far in, you won't be able to get out. So yeah, if you put it in like the, the head facing out here and you push all the way in, yeah, you're gonna have trouble getting back. You might need, you might need to bend the dart a little bit to get out. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what else the purpose this is for, because obviously pull back can kind of fit in. But uh, yeah, the reason why I pulled it, pull it back is obviously show you this access door. Now if you want to, you can open this access door. You can kind of maybe fit it in and clear out any jams. But yeah, as you can see, I have dart pretty little in. Uh, yeah, now, obviously, since I said I don't like this attachment, I'm, I'm going to put it off to the side, and obviously, now, this is a scope from the long range kit of the modules line, sold separately, it may be retailed for like $12, I don't know, I haven't looked at it recently, but yeah, retails for under $20, so yeah, I like to put, put it on, because obviously this is a cinematic gun, one bullet, bullet oh, I'm going to pull it, one dart, Pull the trigger and actually add on kind of a long range thing. You do have the bipod here, so uh, yeah, uh, here kind of look at that. And if you really want, you can you can actually put this somewhere, kind of stability thing. And also, yeah, if you really you really do want that, yeah, you also have an iron sight. If you, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't want to scope, hmm, you can use the iron sight. But yeah, I choose to leave the scope on because it kind of automatic and also probably one so yeah this, I mean this isn't designed to be a sniper rifle but uh yeah I mean obviously it I mean the dark the dark range it still goes just as far as the well, the velocity on some chronographs like I see some testers and this barrel really doesn't do anything with it so yeah if you just want to snap a look yeah you can actually have that but yeah I typically just leave the iron tech down but uh yeah you want to close that? I mean, if you do, if you want to look cool, kind of standing up like that, I just want to, I just need to make sure I'm in frame. Yeah, fire, kind of like that. And yes, I'm firing at a stable object. Now, if you're firing at, at a door, kind of, at, at like a door behind me, yeah, it, it'll leave it dead. Now, you have to be careful if you want, if you're firing a wall, it'll leave imprint on a wall. But uh, yeah, I'm firing it against a box. So, uh, yeah. Now overall, this is a good quality gun for good quality prime. If would I use it for a primary? Mm, maybe because it's semi -auto. now. Uh, this is good if you're just getting a nerf, like what I am doing right, what I am right now. Good quality primary, but uh, yeah. But if you're really already into the sniper thing, yeah, obviously you you would not want to have this. Have a 12 round clip. I don't know. I had it, but yeah. Wait. Well, yeah, it, even on that, it, it'll still be cocked and ready, but. But yeah, if you really want to be like a, have a sniper one, yeah, you, you can have a six round clip and kind of have, have that because sniper rifles tend to have only six rounds. But yeah, you can play around with this and that. But uh, yeah, didn't find anything. But uh, yeah. Now, now all in all, now now all in all, this, this gun is pretty is worth it. Uh, now for the price of like twenty two dollars, or depending on where you where you're getting this from retail, or if you're getting this shipped from overseas, 
And if you're not in the U.S. and you're getting this shipped, or somewhere else, it may it may cause it may cause you something something different. But yeah, I got this at a retail store. Now, obviously, not all retail stores do do sell the same Nerf guns. So you may have to have to look around to see which store actually has certain things. Now, yes, I did go to a specific one to actually find this. So yeah, which I will talk about in another Nerf video then. Yes, you do have other modulus ones that aren't sold. So yeah, which, yeah. Overall, yeah, I do have more Nerf Elite Lines. So yeah, if you guys want to see, see me do more, just let me know. So, so I, so I have plan that, planning it out. So yeah, that's part of this video. If you have enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, Firepot.